Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this video we'll take a look at the Creality Falcon 2. A new diode laser machine made by Creality, the company known for its magnificent and affordable 3D printers. This machine is the second laser engraver that we see from Creality and instead of 10 watts of laser power, this laser engraver now has 22 watts of real optical output power. The Creality Falcon 2 is not a typical laser engraver that we know from so many other companies. To start with, this laser engraver arrives in a box as an assembled machine that you only have to connect the laser module and the air assist and you are ready to go. After you connected the power supply, the USB cable that connects the machine to the computer and the air assist unit, you can turn the key, reset the emergency stop button and turn the power to the machine on. And a blinking light and a beep will inform you that the machine is turned on at that moment. In my studio I use Lightburn software to talk to the laser engraver, but the Falcon 2 is also compatible with the free Laser Gerbil software. The files to install the machine in the software are provided on the memory card that is supplied with the engraver. It is advised to always first check if the firmware on the machine is up to date and instructions for this procedure are also provided on the memory card. The first thing that I saw when inspecting the machine is the build quality. The frame is sturdy and well built and the cables and air hose are all perfectly integrated into the frame. There is no way a cable will get stuck while the machine is in motion. Also the integrated nozzle for the air assist seems to work exceptionally well, but more on that later. The machine has a little front panel to operate the basic instructions, yet to be honest I don't use that because I run the machine from Lightburn which has all the controls in the software. It is however possible to write your laser project to a micro SD card and run it from the machine without a connection to a computer. And this can be very handy when you don't have a well ventilated room for example and you want to use the Falcon 2 outside without bringing a computer with you. Also this makes it easy to do batch processes where you only have to place the material and press the start button. From a safety point of view, this laser is equipped with all the standard safety features like tilt detection, no movement detection, flame detection, etc. etc. And when the detectors see that something is going wrong, they will cut the power to the laser to prevent it from causing an accident, like in any other laser machine. Yet there are even more detectors that I've never seen on any other laser engraver, like a sensor that detects if the lens is dirty or not preventing you from breaking the glass element in the lens because dirt heats up when it's hit by laser light. Also, the airflow from the air assist is monitored. A LED on the laser module will provide you with information telling you if there is airflow or not and whether this is a strong or a soft airflow. This means that you can immediately see if there are any errors while the laser is busy and if the airflow is correct. Talking about the air assist, this is by far the best air assist I have ever seen in a consumer diode laser engraver. The compressor is adjusted to the air consumption of the nozzle and well capable to provide enough air. The air assist can be turned on and off by the software when using Lightburn. On the side of the machine you can adjust the amount of air generated by this compressor. Also, this compressor is a very quiet one and after engraving and cutting, the compressor is automatically turned off. Then turned on again when you start the next job. I have been playing with cutting extremely thin elements of wood, which is impossible if the air assist is not good. And the results I have had with this machine are better than I've ever seen on any other laser engraver that came with an air assist module and a compressor. In fact, I only seen comparable results when using my own air compressor and pressure controllers. Then let's take a look at some of the things I've tested with the Falcon 2 laser engraver. I made some coasters. I did some cutting and tried some engraving at different speeds and power settings. And 
I even used some pieces of multiplex that I was never able to get good results from because of the strong fibers and glue used in this material. And this time I was successful in getting nice engravings out of this material. So I have to say that I'm very pleased with the quality of the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver and I think at this moment it is by far the best machine that I have ever tested. I rank this machine above my Xtool D1 and the 2 Trees TS2. And I will for sure be using the machine in a lot of yeah, projects I'm going to do in my workshop. Now if you want to see those projects that I'm doing and I'm going to film for this channel, then stay tuned for more videos about laser engraving and 3D printing. Then I will see you next time. Bye!